Accused Kalamazoo mass shooter Jason Dalton is now moving forward in the court process, heading onto a preliminary hearing next month. Today was his first time physically in court. We brought it to you live, and now we have the results of his competency exam that shows he does understand the charges against him and can proceed on to trial. Now at 6 o'clock, 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker is live in Kalamazoo, breaking down what they have uncovered about Dalton's mental state. Heather? Well, these seven pages show that the examiner is not buying all of Jason Dalton's responses to these questions. They found that he is mentally fit, understands what's happening, and can go ahead to a trial. The defendant is competent to stand trial. In this Jason Dalton appeared distant and almost lost as he was led into court today, but the competency exam found he demonstrated the ability to assist rationally in his defense. The examiner looked at the evidence in the case, Dalton's interviews with police, and their own interview with Dalton, stating that Dalton was superficially cooperative with the evaluation and that he responded to questions, but often saying, I don't know, to basic questions, such as the meaning of the guilty plea. The examiner determined, given his education and background, his lack of knowledge about legal matters and court procedures was often not credible. But what about the statements Dalton made about his Uber app causing him to shoot people? The exam asked about that, questioning Dalton about his ideas of reference, where a person experiences special messages or meanings from a TV, radio broadcast, or stranger. Dalton replied, quote, not the TV or radio, but my telephone seemed peculiar. I don't know how to describe it. He also stated that it almost seemed like my phone could control me. He said he thought he was hearing voices and that he could hear people's thoughts when driving for Uber, but that he's no longer experiencing that. Saying, I guess that's the heavy part. I believe at the time I was experiencing something. I'm not sure what it is. In the cell, it's heavy thinking about it, if I was imagining those things or if they were real. What is real is the murder of six lives, an attempt to take two others. He's been found competent. We're ready to move forward. And now, despite today's ruling, Dalton could still plead not guilty by reason of insanity. Prosecutor Getting says that has to do with his state of mind at the time the crime occurred. Reporting live in Kalamazoo, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8.